made a special announcement earlier in the day. Tell us about that. I did. Uh, you know, I announced this is going to be my final full professional season uh, here in Pro Stock. And, you know, I've, I've done this uh, Pro Stock racing. Uh, you know, I let the clutch out for the first time ever in 1997 in Dallas. And uh, I've, I've let the clutch out every year since then. Uh, not, not all in full seasons, but uh, all, all but uh, like two or three years of that. So I uh, had just a magnificent run. Uh, my family's been unbelievable. My father, Jeggs, the patriarch, the leader. Uh, when he was my crew chief, uh, we definitely did. Uh, we had a lot going for us, but we did the most with it without question. I mean, there were, there were uh, teams there with more horsepower and maybe better funded, so to speak. Uh, and he was, he was the wizard. Uh, so I thank him uh, every chance I get because we, we won a lot of races together and a lot of championships. But you know, I partnered, I've uh, been fortunate to partner with a lot of great crew folks, a lot of great sponsors, a lot of great teams over the years. It hasn't always been a family team. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the day, running with uh, Don Schumacher and, and the legend himself, Bob Glidden, uh, was, was quite a treat uh, in all honesty. And, uh, paired with Victor Cagnazzi and, and a, a brilliant team there, uh, very fast cars, everything was built in-house, which was fun, and uh, you know, we won a couple of championships there, and, and uh, fast forward a couple of years, I raced with, with uh, Roy and Alan Johnson, a, another legend in the sport uh, with, with Roy and, and even Alan for that matter, and uh, won a championship in 13, so uh, uh, that fast forwards to the current chapter we're in. Uh, you know, we, we had sold all of our assets in like 2012 to Richard Freeman, and uh, you know he he took all of all of the uh, components and uh, came out here and won the won the World Finals with Ricky Jones driving, uh, my crew, current crew chief. So there's uh, you know that's quite a quite a story there, and uh, you know we ended up getting together a couple years within the next year, and and uh, and we've been together for over five years now. We've, we've talked about racing together for a long time, since the early 2000s. Uh, Richard's a stand-up guy. Uh, most people love him, and, uh, you know, he wears his emotion on his sleeve, just like just like, uh, like we do, you know. So, uh, And that's why we've gotten along so well. There's been uh, very little politics uh, involved in, underneath the awning, and, uh, you know, that's what I don't want to give that news to our competitors, but uh, that does help, trust me. Uh, you know, be straight up and... and uh, do what you say you're going to do, and, uh, and things are great. So uh, we're having a ball. Looking forward to this final season uh, as a pro stock competitor, as a full season, and uh, you know, would love nothing more than to hand the steering wheel over. I'm definitely uh, not going to run for championships after 2020. Uh, that's not my goal at this point. You know, uh, I've, uh, my son Jackie's 22, uh, is finishing uh, college at Ohio State right now and pursuing a golf career. I'm really uh, looking forward to supporting that. My daughter Carly is five, and uh, you know, my wife Samantha and I are just looking to uh, support them. Uh, she and I will do a lot of uh, you know, local and national bracket racing together and I'll probably hit a few NHRA events as well. So I'm definitely not hanging up the helmet by any stretch, uh, but will you see me in a full-time pro stock ride again? It's, it's not very likely, uh, quite honestly. So, you know, yeah, I'd love nothing more. Uh, you know, Troy Jr. here uh, sitting, sitting to my left, uh, you know, came to Bradenton with us just a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I made three runs on Sunday, and, and uh, he hopped, hopped behind the wheel on Monday and made 21 runs. Between Monday and Thursday, and and uh, did one hell of a job. So, uh, you know that that was fun, fun for me to watch. Uh, you know, uh, Courtney Anders uh, asked me a question after his first full run, and uh, I couldn't even give an answer. I mean, I was choked up and uh, excited. You know, because this this is uh, my blood. You know, we've we've grown up together. Uh, you know, I've seen Troy Jr. grow up. You know, making race car sounds just like I did uh, from <laughs> from nothing all the way up to still doing them today, right? So uh, we're having fun, and uh, 
would love to pass the torch uh, when the time is right. Can you ever really retire? You know, I don't think so. I got too many race cars sitting around uh, back <laughs> home uh, that uh, would, would probably prevent me from doing that completely. But uh, I love drag racing. I'm very competitive uh, as a as a person. I'm very competitive as a racer. And uh, you know, there's there's just a lot of good racing uh, left in knock on wood left in my life. So uh, looking forward to that and uh, turning turning the chapter and, and supporting my family and supporting our business uh, Jegs back in Delaware, Ohio. It's uh, a lot going on. Believe it or not, uh, I've been racing full time since I uh, graduated from college. Won a championship while I was in college in '92, and uh, graduated '93 and been racing ba basically uh, two cars every week, damn near ever since. So uh, somebody can do the math if they like. Made thousands and thousands of runs, and uh, wouldn't wouldn't trade it for a, for a minute. But uh, a lot of things have sacrificed along the way. And I'm not complaining a bit, so just looking to kind of uh, enjoy some other things at the time. I got one more. Uh, Come on. That's the one I should have asked back then. At what point were you over it? I'm never over it uh, by any stretch. Uh, I mean, you know, that, you, that led to this decision. Well, no, I, I, uh, I through last summer, I, you know, I'm not one to make, make waves. And, uh, you know, I was ready to just ride off in the sunset after the 2019 season. And, uh, you know, Jags, our company is 60 years in 2020 here. Pro Stock is 50 years. You know, I'm scratching for excuses to keep racing, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, you know, I decided to, uh, as NHRA was kind of intertwining me into some of the 50 years stuff, I thought it would be fun to be a part of uh, behind the wheel. And, and uh, you know, fortunately, I'm able to make that decision and continue on here in 2020. So, uh you know, I think it's going to be a fun year uh, for, for multiple reasons, and uh, so far it's started out extremely well.